Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to be doing a fun project today. Uh, this is a fractal burn that was uh, done by Sal's Fractal Art. I will post the link for his channel in the description. So make sure you go subscribe. And I had this idea for a fun resin project. So we're going to give it a go. This is art resin that I'm using. This is just clear. So we're going to cover this with a light layer of the clear. So I'm trying to get, it, get the edges as well. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> okay. And he has videos on how to do the fractal burns and everything as well. So definitely, definitely make sure you check out his channel and subscribe. Okay. I think that is covered well enough. And then I have some resin that I mixed with blue... Let me see what color this is exactly. This one's called Heavenly Blue. And it's from the Color Cottage. They sent me a whole bunch of colors of mica powders to try out. So it's going to take me quite a while to get through them. All right. Um, now what I'm kind of going for in this is kind of trying to do this in the burns specifically. Okay. And I'm not too worried if some, you know, gets in other spots as well. But I'm trying to primarily have it sink into the fractal burns. All right, so what we're going to do here. basically get off some of the excess. Okay. I think that's good actually. So it is a little bit around here, but it's primarily just in those um, sunken spots there of the burns. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this and we'll come back tomorrow and see how this looks. And I think it will be awesome. All right. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so it's the next day. This is all dry. Um, I'm going to be completely honest here. I totally forgot to torch this. Um, I guess I didn't have enough coffee yesterday or something. So there are some little air bubbles. That's okay because I actually plan to sand it down anyways and put yet another layer of resin on it. Um, but otherwise, I feel like this is like the coolest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> um... Yeah, especially with the mica powder, the way it looks, it just looks killer. So I'm going to take you in for a close-up here. It is resin, so it's really shiny, so, you know, prepare for that. All right, this is a bit of a side view. So, you know, let's start, sorry. This is the lower right-hand corner, as usual. So you can see the little bits of sparkly around because uh, the mica powder didn't just go into the fractal burns, but that's okay. The color 
I mean, you can really only see the sparkle there, but the color all went into the burns, which is really cool. Um, so let's just go along this whole thing. I'm going to try to do different angles so you guys can kind of see how it permeated those fractal burns. Up here, it did go a little more around, um, but that's okay. Still really cool. Um, upper left hand corner over here. And then my favorite part down here. It's like a river. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. Um, this was the first experiment of this kind, and there will be a lot more. Uh, I do have some other products that I ordered too that are in the mail that I'm going to try out with this. I'm not going to tell you what because it's a secret. You'll have to wait to find out, sorry. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I think it's really cool. So, once again, go check out uh, Sal's Fractal Art on YouTube. Subscribe to his channel. The link is in the description. And we'll see you next time.